So when somebody else decides how much money you're going to earn, the, the sky is not the limit. Because unless the other person is your father, you might out earn what you're actually worth. The fact is that it's, it's not a Kali Master proof. The other way is to earn what you are worth. And sometimes much more than you're worth. How do you do that? You do that only by going to business for yourself. Not everybody's mystical to start a business. Running a business is very difficult. It takes a lot of skills, a lot of time, a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and most businesses fail. And a lot of times when you're running a business, not everything is in your control. Market forces could go against you, employees could mess up. You may very well not have old skill sets that are needed to run this business. And you may be a very good salesperson, but you're a terrible operations manager and you're terrible with payroll and yet your business falls apart. But a lot of people create tremendous wealth starting businesses and running businesses and selling businesses. The other way is sales. Sales is a, is a function of your skills, your time, your application multiplied by a commission rate. That's it. Finished. So in every industry, it's different. In Wall Street, perhaps sales will take you from 75,000 to 10 million. In some industries, it may take you from 100 to 500 or 600. But the spread is you. It's all you. It has nothing to do with anything else but you. Because if there's somebody earning $500,000 a year doing what you're doing, and you're earning 50000 that $450,000 spread is you. Period. That's it. Now, you are the only one that can do anything about you. It's not your boss telling you you can't earn five hundred. It's you. When somebody comes to me and says, It's because the person doesn't want to do what it takes to go from 50 to 500. He doesn't want to look himself in the mirror and say, I'm not doing all I should. It's difficult, but I'm not really working on myself.